You go, hey, Hatman. Can we uh, uh, and then come out? Norm immediately. Stealth check? <laughs> oh, turn invisible. In which case, stealth check with advantage if you want to sneak in after him. Um, because the uh, performance master is straight up like out of the, the tent door and kind of looks over and is like, oh, you're in. That's more like it. You're just partaking. That's. Uh, I wondered what all this noise out here was. You can just in after him. Um, yeah. The cloth of the, the, you know, the silky gold acts exactly like cloth does and you are allowed inside. Um, it's exactly as you saw it before. You know, there's a desk with miscellaneous weird papers on it. Um, bookcases, crates, chairs. I'm going to check the, the desk drawers or anything like that to see if there's anything. What's in me, them? Let's just you can go give through me an investigation check. Uh, I almost did in intimidation. That's not right. Uh, what's in you? Oh, no, uh, I'm terrible at this. Uh, that None of them are locked. Um, and anything in them is just like knickknacks. You know, there's some coins, papers, book, like nothing of of worth or note. Uh, and I, of course, I want to check the the papers on the desk. And so there was a bookshelf. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm going to go through the bookshelf to see any of the books, or if I know any of the books, or Give any, me like, anything like that. Investigation check. That's better. Much better. You notice the thing you notice about books is you've read a lot of books in your time, uh, willing or otherwise. <laughs> uh, you've never seen any of these books before, and that's weird because there's some like very common books in in Yavaskir. Like there's got to be an equivalent of the Yusti, Lusty Argonian Maid and stuff like that. Because <laughs> you know, printing presses exist, but very rarely. So those books that are printed are like fucking everywhere. Um, but you don't recognize any of these books, and you actually notice something um, when you go to flick them open. Um, that the symbols inside are gibberish, but almost like a kind of uniform gibberish, if that makes sense. It doesn't seem to be a language. You actually notice that, like, many of the pages are the same. Um, yeah. uh, some of them are in common, and it's kind of like, you know, Valorium Epsom. Like, it, it, it is saying something, but it's saying nothing. Oh, and then you're like, yeah. flick another few pages, and it's the same stuff again, like over and over in like a loop. Um, and it doesn't have anything to do with what the topic of the book says on the front, you know. That's weird. I want to I wanna grab one of those the books longer... and put it in the pack. Yep. Sure. And then uh, I'm going to keep... I will also be sort of listening, so if he comes... As he comes back, I'll be ready to whip right out. Right now, he's still standing outside, kind of asking, he's like, we just, how much of that have you smoked? <laughs> <laughs> Since um, when? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose that is I the like only that. question. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so there's nothing but the knickknacks in the, in the desk. There's the weird scribble drawings on the desk and these weird books. And there's nothing else in here? Nothing of, of, of note. Lantern, pens, fabric, seemingly <laughs> to make the outfits. You know. Okay. Um, I, I guess I'm going to try and wait to sneak out with the one of, with the book I've got uh, for when he comes back in. The sting is still open. Oh, then I've just sort of wait, 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 it, it's it's like you could go up to it and like it's still it's a door again you know it's a silk again okay um and then i, I would do what i did plan to do before and roll out the bottom to try and make as little movement as possible give me a stealth check on the on with advantage yep oh my god at least that's not at least i got rid of the one <laughs> um so do you grow your own or <laughs> like he doesn't <laughs> notice it's just kind of talking aimlessly to cool Ollie. It's it's a very yeah, small door. Just kind of find it around. Nature provides. <laughs> I would walk I over. I would go to our tent. 
into the tent, put my pack, like put put my bag and stuff down that I've got, and then come back out visible. Oh, there you guys are. <laughs> yes, your friend Cool Ollie was just regaling me with stories of this smoke weed. I'll I'll, I'll admit I've never really been one to partake in such things. Uh, very, but well, it's very, it, he's been we... telling me about all the medicinal purposes of it and uh, <laughs> industrial purposes of it. It seems like such a versatile substance. The only reason that people look down on it is because Big Parchment is trying to get <laughs> in on that corner of that market, you know? Uh... <laughs> Am uh, I wrong? <laughs> I promise I will only buy yeah. small parchments from now on. <laughs> the only kind I buy I just take out a small piece of paper and <laughs> <laughs> oh no um <sighs> yeah I, I tried it when we first met not, not, not for me though being around him I don't really get a choice <laughs> <laughs> You just gotta keep trying different types, it's fine. Oh, it comes in different types? Yeah, he finds all kinds of stuff. That's it's true. true. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you don't go wandering off too much. There's rumors of nasty things in this forest. You should be careful. Yeah, guards came into the um, area mm. a little bit that ago. happens occasionally you should tell me when that happens guards can well we're circus folk we're in from out of town and that makes us suspicious they always assume when something's stolen that it's the traveling circus that's done it and usually they're correct so rude <laughs> <laughs> even when it is correct shouldn't assume to what assume. Say about assuming mm-hmm I don't, but you do, presumably. <laughs> um, yeah, no, they were they were fine. Just misguided folks. But they were okay. We just hung out with them for a bit and, you know. Well, making they... a home for misguided folks is something I heartedly believe in. Now, if you don't mind, I have much more uh, work to do. Enjoy your, your evening and your... What oh, word do you do? Like well, around here? I've got to make sure that everything keeps on running around here. Mostly, it's resting for the night. I do a lot more of my work in the day. So most people right. are awake around that time. Yeah. I'm nocturnal, so you know I have to adjust the schedule. He kind of like is walking back inside and nodding, and then just <laughs> like, trying to escape this conversation. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Question for you: Do half elves sleep, or do they meditate? They sleep. Now? Okay. You are you a half elf? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, yeah. That's why I was asking. I feel like regardless of the answer, I sleep. Cool. <laughs> but uh, once he's once he's back in the tent, it's let's go to our tent now, please. Oh, you just need to relax, Normie. Oh. It's fine. It's all good. Quickly, and go back to the tent. <laughs> Sticks is still hanging out with. Him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, he's, yeah. With, he's with, doing his thing. You know. I trust that he's got this. <laughs> Just so you know, he's definitely making flirty moves on <laughs> on wire. Priorities. Priorities. The, the <laughs> second they walk into the. <laughs> I, I also just realized the the poor the poor translator probably just saw me appear in the tent and then walk out. He's you've <laughs> done he it just, before. I He's know used to about invisibility, sir. <laughs> uh, okay, so as soon as they walk in, I pull out the book and be like, "The fuck is this? I found I nothing but knickknacks. I found nothing but knickknacks, papers with scribbles, and like this. And like I'll flip through a couple of pages. Uh, you flip that through like, it." It seems to be a book of songs and hymns, and every page appears to be different. That is not what was Even in the Even the tent. occasional little picture. What? No, but wait. This was oh. gibberish in, like, the tent, and, like, every third or fourth page was, like, the same, and it was, like... I'm fluent in gibberish. Let me see it. That happens yeah. to me sometimes, too, when I open up a book. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, really, like, they were all... You like flick through all of it. the books were like this. Angela okay. 
and you actually start to notice that Angela, Angela. how dare you, Angelica? Angelica. Oh no, <laughs> Angela, <laughs> that's very different. <laughs> Um, I'm very tired, is my excuse. Uh, uh huh. And, um, you actually start to notice that yeah, some of these hymns are repeating, but then when you go back to them, it's kind of like almost fixed into what it's going to become to be. The book is filling itself in the longer you're handling it. Um, but it's making it look like it's a full book until then. Um,. Almost so if like I tried it, to trick it, and I opened it to like, like a later yeah, page. Yeah. It doesn't know what to do. Yeah. Oh, this is spell work. See, this I'm is not crazy. Filling itself in based on my perceptions, presumably. That's weird. Yeah. Can I we wonder what it? happens if I don't touch it and hand it to somebody else and hand it to Cool Alley. Open it mid page. Go. I just opened the book. It's the same as it as it's, it's a peer because like by now you've been handling it for i mean admittedly not very long like five minutes but that's seemingly enough for it to nearly be full you just notice like the last few changes seemingly um i wonder and now if we that didn't it's, touch it for like a day what would happen now it seems to have almost made its choice and it's not changing again that like once mm -hmm. you notice a page change that's what it is um that's weird. It's almost like That's it's being weird. decrypted. Is kind of the best way to describe it. Yeah. Um, there's some magic bangers button. in here. This is a great songbook. He has like an entire bookshelf of these. Oh man, he must. It's probably spelled so only he can read it, right? Anybody else picks it up, it will just rewrite itself. If that's the case, uh, and they're not actually gibberish like it looked like they were, he's probably going to notice this is missing. Mm-hmm. Oh dear. Maybe we can blame it on the guard. As you said, whenever things go missing, it's always the circus <laughs> folk, right? <laughs> I'm a little worried. If the tent was like, I got in the tent real easy this time, no problem, compared to last time when it was like, it would not open. Hmm. Like, this shit is weird. <laughs> right away it is late presumably he has to sleep um well, not sure to bother, in but um where is master sticks you, you can't hear the the spoons at this oh. point the spoons have stopped oh <laughs> uh the the other tent he's he was distracting them oh never mind you hear the shaking uh, of a tree nearby. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. He's Have a good night, Ben. <laughs> <He's probably laughs> go lie down. Okay. Do you retire for the night? I guess so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Make sure you hide that, like. Oh at yeah. The bottom of a trunk. Oh. Fuck. Can you open Styx's chest? No. I mean, not by traditional means. In my younger days, I had to smash <laughs> a lot of things and hide them from the old parents. Hand it over to Cool Ollie. <laughs> I will do my best to hide it. Where are you going to put it? Well, it's just beds and stuff in here, right? Yeah, There's it's also all your stuff. Like right, anything you yeah. like your bags and clothes and things. Gotcha. Um. What I will do... Oh, I have a chest, too. Um, oh! <laughs> chest that I forgot. Sticks, uh, Sticks has been carrying that around. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. When did he get two of them? This is totally something that, I mean, you can decide if this is legit or not. But in this chest, I feel like it would be appropriate that there would be a false a bottom. Stash. Like a literal stash space. Yeah. I'm gonna stick it in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> in this um, I'm just put all the rest of my crap on top of it where it normally is. And I feel yeah. like Cool Ollie does not put the smoke weed in the stash space. No. I feel like the stash space is for like random knickknacks and stuff that he just thinks are cool. Well, this is the thing. Like, <laughs> I haven't opened this chest probably in like. <laughs> 
like I'm looking through, I'm like, oh yeah, like because I'm literally looking at my interview right now, and I'm like, oh, or my my uh, your interview, my interview. <laughs> Is there something you need to tell us? Are you leaving the band? (laughs) 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 Yeah, no, I'm looking at my uh, inventory right now, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I have sealing wax. Oh, there's a soap I have. Oh, I have perfume. I have oil flasks. Who knows what kind of oil that is? (laughs) It's CBD oil. I was going to say, it's it's CBD oil. Oh, I have an ink pen. Oh, I have a set of fine clothes. Like, just stuff I forgot that I own. (laughs) Yeah, those oh, man, like that. there's a lot of stuff in here. Yeah. <laughs> is, this, is this one of Styx chests? Yeah. <laughs> Why does this, Styx's clothes fit me so well? <laughs> We're about the same height, to be honest. Just not the same frame. Not the same Brett. Oh. No. Um, <laughs> you can uh, stash that up and take the night's rest. Um, Styx, not so stealthily. Joins you. Doesn't even try to be stealthy. Yeah. Well, exactly. Yeah. Um, Is he just beaming? Is he glowing? He's pretty happy. I imagine Norm would honestly, like, while in bed, just hold up a hand. <laughs> I literally, like, I, I've been, I've been binge watching Brooklyn Nine Nine, and there's literally a bit where in in the in the courtroom, Peralta's like, I just had sex this morning to like a random person. He's like, Yeah, cool. <laughs> That's this mood right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, he's he's real happy. He's he's beaming. You wake up tomorrow and it's it's another pretty nice day. It's just a little, you know, a little cool, a little cloudy, but not unpleasant. Less birds. No birds actually. No bird song at all, like close by. You can hear it like very distant. It is You're nice and quiet. Kind of, it's nice and quiet. And I get to sleep in. Yeah. Uh, uh, there's like, after Norm wakes up, there's just a, a, a pause and a realization. Angelica, what did you do? Oh, I killed, I killed the bird. <laughs> oh, but you don't even oh, try. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's no cats around. I had to take care of it for us. Don't worry. Okay, Norm lies back down. <laughs> Just not dealing with that right now. <laughs> Eventually, no one would probably get up. And yeah, it, just... it, I, there's there's a period of time where you wake up, and then there's a time where you get up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure. I and know the this feeling of having to pee outweighs the comfort of being in bed. Exactly. As yes. a bard, I know this feeling. The day. Yeah. Go over to the old pee tree. Hopefully, not the same as. Uh, it is, not the same. it is not the same. It is not the same. Favorite character from the land before time. <laughs> uh, no one has to be very uh, war- like worried about stepping outside. Like just sort of. You do, and Malfoy is there. Like good morning. Like on the <laughs> other side of the camp, Hi. but like immediately. Oh, even. okay. <laughs> He's not like yeah, directly in front of you. You know. Oh, uh, morning. How? The- Never mind. <laughs> Walks out. Oh. You know me, I'm nocturnal. Can you keep it down, please? Fine. Walks off, walks off to find something to eat for breakfast. Dix uh, gets up and pats Angelica on the head <laughs> and then leaves the tent. I know. You, uh... You, uh <laughs> wing. <laughs> mouthwash kind of like actually will, will, will speak to Norm. Be like, why do they call you that? Your name is Chandler Hampton Mumford DeWitt II. Huh. Well done. Uh, they just call me Norm because I'm normal compared to them. Mm. Very well. Up, up to you what you want to call me. I, I mean, I, I did dislike it at first. I kind of just got used to it. Plus, I mean, the crowd that last doesn't time mean that you like it. it. I mean, you should do things that you we, you should have us do things that you like. If this name does not bring you pleasure, then. T- I should not be getting using used it. to. But I mean, hearing the crowd cheer was pretty good, and I think it grew on me. I know a little what that's like. My name at birth was not mouthwash. Thank Given to me by crowds in, in, in very different times. Ah. Uh, but you like it now? Hmm. I understand what good. you're saying. 
Good. Yeah. Food. <laughs> and we'll like immediately start preparing. Who actually asked what do you want? Oh. I just came back from the store. Kind of goes over to the sacks. On the wagon. Bacon. <laughs> uh, I mean. He pulls out some bacon from one of the sacks. Like a bacon, sa sausages, and toast probably are good. Sausages and bread. And then he will start cooking it up. No, we'll just sit there watching, just <laughs> ready getting hungrier and ready. Yeah, yeah. It'll take a little bit. Uh, steps out of the tent and does that stretch again, the one that's definitely <laughs> the stretch. You know, and then like, self-consciously kind of stops and then kind of walks over um, and sits down next to next to Norm. And, uh, uh, mm. Liar will actually come over to you and mm. uh, kiss you on the cheek and kind of sit mm. right next, like right mm -hmm. against you. Oh, he's like full on. He puts his arm around her. Yeah. Like no, no shame whatsoever. Just absolutely. She ain't trying to hide it either. No. <laughs> well, but there's still there's still like nearly very very little emotion. There's like a little bit of a smile. Mm. Um. Mm-hmm. Now, like, yeah, Styx was probably gonna, like, do something, but now he's just beaming. <laughs> Fair. Uh, well, the uh, uh, after giving you some food and cooking some more for, for Styx, uh, Mapple should actually ask, is there anything else we can do to make you stay more comfortable while, while we're here? We'll have to move things around when we move on, but... Are the others here yet, or is it just... Nah, it's just, just, just the boys. Uh, well, I'm, I'm quite comfortable. Thank you, though. Then I imagine eventually you'll wake up. <laughs> Do eventually I'll wake up. Poker with a stick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll get out at some point as well and make my way there. Hmm. Is it just a, a, a calm breakfast, you know? I will ask like, how long they're planning on staying here. And where well, they plan to go to. That's up to the master, and it, it, it changes depending on... I think he wants to make the most out of a lot of you. You're known here. Mm -hmm. He kind of, like, he looks at Liar, and Liar looks at him. and then... Do, Does he have an actual name? Yes, Egory. I believe he <laughs> introduced. Not you. Out, I, I, I believe he introduced himself to you. He did. They just don't remember people's names, as Carmichael remembers. <laughs> Carmichael just looking, just shaking. Whoops, his head my bad. bad. Oh, Egeri, I actually have him written down. I'm just a derp. You're in character. <laughs> yep. <laughs> right. Thank you. Yeah, Egory is just a really bad name. It's not our fault. <laughs> I mean, no, no, you, not everyone chooses their name. It's true. Some have their name chosen for them. Right, Norm? It's <laughs> 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 just right faced eating. <laughs> Sticks, um, turns to Liar and just kind of grunts sexually in her ear and then starts walking toward the tree. That you <laughs> she, will, she will kind of dance after him. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's happening. <laughs> I'm gonna hate myself for asking this, but can you, can you give me a strength check? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no! I feel so sorry for her. And then a perception check. Better than the last time. <laughs> you notice in a bit um, mm -hmm. that Liar has cracked a little bit. Um, what might have been in just extremely pale skin or maybe makeup kind of is cracked a bit like porcelain. Um, mm. in, in certain places. 
I like sticks will actually like stroke along the porcelain. Cracks she well. will. And he'll this do it after your gently. deed is nicely done. Um, she will skitter away. Mm. Um, back towards the tent. He's actually gonna follow, um, and like knock on the tent again, the same way he <laughs> did last time. Very gently this time, maybe, but. Um, you, know. you see her in there, and uh, Cloth. She mm. doesn't really acknowledge your presence. She just kind of sits down. Mm. Uh, to Cloth, I'll uh, I'll actually say, uh, can you give us a moment, please? He will get up, which is kind of like a we like four legs, yeah. like, uh, and 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 leave. Thank you, friend. And uh, we'll step in. And he'll sit down in front and put his hand, like, on on hers, on the back of hers, probably because she's probably got her hand down. And he'll just kind of. <clears throat> And he'll just sit, and he'll sit silently, and he'll just put his hand on hers, and he'll just sit for a minute. She doesn't really do anything in mm. in response. Just kind of looking down. Yeah, and he's he's just gonna sit with her for a bit, okay. Basically, until anything changes, until she decides to speak, or uh, after a, you know, after too long, like ten minutes, um, mm. she will actually get up and say, "I need to train for tonight." Um, and kind of sitting with that uh, with someone for that long, it, it kind of you know makes you a bit glassy eyed. Mm. But you notice when she stands up that those cracks have gone, mm. kinda. He will actually stand up and hold her hand, and he'll actually plant a proper kiss on her. Um, a proper and then kiss. A proper kiss, and then let go. With your pinky up and everything. Very proper. Um, he is a nobleman after. Like, exactly, sir. <laughs> um, and she will go off to the kind of separate area of camp, kind of behind your tents, to practice ballerina -y things. But again, she doesn't need practice. She's been completely flawless every time. <laughs> Six goes over and is, sits in our tent. And uh, Carmichael's in there, I assume, at this point. So he probably has retreated Which back. Which one? He... Yeah, both. Um, <laughs> but uh, actually, in in common, he's going to actually speak to Carmichael and say, I'm going to have to tell them at some point. And may as well be soon. <laughs> I won't be needing you as a translator anymore. Instead, I need you to change your job. I need you to keep an eye on things. But still act like a translator, please. And he'll just kind of nod. And he'll go out and he'll stand and he'll kind of just be like surveying the camp while still being as subtle as possible. But he is a normal human, so it's not going to be that subtle. <laughs> Malfortune at this point has gone back into his tent and Cloth is just juggling. Again, practice, but he's actually not as flawless as a uh, liar is. You, you, you notice the occasional, like, slight fumble. Not dropping uh, a pin, but, like, catching it and throwing it in such a way that, like, it twists out of balance. He has to, like, outstretch an arm too much. You know, stuff like that. What do you guys want to do with your day? I mean, you've not got much day left because you wake up really late, but... <laughs> I'm, I guess I'm going to look at that book a bit more. Yeah. It, it is definitely complete now. You could check every page. Yeah. It's a book of songs. I'm going to try and tear at it, assuming it's like choosing to make these pages appear. See if I can terrify the book a little bit. For about a page, maybe. You can try. <laughs> I like that. It's it's right. the it's the best and like it's it's the most traditional D and D thing ever, but it actually makes sense in this context. Oh, that was almost good. Ah. Dix is you, uh, in the room right now, right? 
Yeah, you, you go. <laughs> I try. You see, you see, Angela is shaking the book. <laughs> I'm gonna like tear like a little bit of its page. Can I? Can I? I'm just gonna rejoin really here. Let me see for a second. I take the book and just be like, look, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to tear you. I'm just good cop, bad copping it right now. Like... Can you three give me a perception check? <laughs> Uh, I, I would also be in the tent. Yeah, if you're in the room, then give me a yeah. give me a checkerino. Eight, eight, eighteen, fifteen. I'm nervous as fuck, so I'm, I'm watching. <laughs> uh, <Eight>. Angelica, <laughs> you notice mm -hmm. the chunk you tore out? Mm -hmm. You kind of threw it to the ground, um, and then you 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 look back while he's doing this, and there's a kind of bit of torn leaf on the ground where you left the paper. And it's like, well, that, this was it. Um, but it seems like the book parchment turned into leaf. A leaf? Yeah. Is there anything written on the leaf? No, no, just like a oak leaf. Alright, I'm gonna take out my dagger and tell the book, like, unless you want to be a pile of leaves, <laughs> you will reveal your secrets to us. You can give me another intimidate. Oh yeah, can I try with that persuasion roll in the book too? Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> the book is still a book. Okay. <laughs> I think it's just a book. <laughs> it's definitely not leaf. just a book. What? <laughs> no, the leaf. All right. I'm actually gonna take a dagger. I'm gonna cut out a couple pages. They turn like it's not instant. It's uh -huh. kind of when you're not looking at them that they turn into leaves. Um, these ones are like I mean, they're... they're cut where you would cut like the mm -hmm. like the binding. Right. Mm. I'm a ham to uh, cool Ollie. I'm like I don't know. Maybe you can smoke them. <laughs> Like, I'll smoke anything once. Uh, no, no, it's actually just gonna walk over and, and rip out a page himself and just stare at it. Well, you stare at it, page. It's, it's, it's a page. The I'm second you blink, it's a leaf. I'm gonna tear up those leaves, put them in my pipe, and start smoking. <laughs> well, that's yeah. weird. So, uh, constitution seed? Uh... <laughs> It's not good. <laughs> it's not <laughs> bad it's either. Leaf. It's just leaf, yeah. Yeah. No magical right craziness, and it's not poison oak, luckily. That's um, good. <laughs> like a chance of that one. <laughs> what I was like, oh, of... maybe. No. <laughs> I'm gonna tell the book that we're getting new pages every day. Still. <laughs> Actually, am I able to Reveal tell the what secret. type of leaves these are? You can give me a nature check, but it seems to be just regular oak or something. Regular oak. Cool. Uh, is this hard? Is this like hardcover or? It's hardcover. Pretty much every book is going to be hardcover. Yeah, I thought so. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and break off a little bit of the cover, like just a corner. Yeah. So we're not returning this book. <laughs> That's what I'm getting at. Yeah. I mean, we wouldn't be you. The page. Yeah, it's not gonna. Uh, when you, you kind of, as you say that, you look back and it's kind of like a little bit of, like, the end of a twig. Oh, okay, that's weird. So yeah. these books are like leaves and sticks. Yeah. Yeah, what do you know about sticks, sticks? Wait, never I, mind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we both look at him as, oh wait, never mind. <laughs> So what do we do then? Because something's clearly going on. We free them. I'm sorry, what? Who said that? <laughs> we free them. Oh man, you speak it common? <laughs> That's dope as fuck. When did you learn to speak common? Have you just known this time we've been saying? Yes. 
Sick, dude. That's awesome. What? He's gonna look at Norm. <laughs> dude, you totally pranked on us, dog. That's crazy. <laughs> so we free them. They're trapped. Right, but how? Well, we don't know how they're trapped. Exactly. Have to find out. We can just we... kill the dude. I've been making friends. Friends. <laughs> 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 what? Well, uh, whole, whole, wait. If they're trapped, why aren't we trapped? We haven't signed anything. <laughs> what do we uh, I mean, we we weren't going to. I thought. Also, he doesn't know the any of our full names, except one. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Did you tell him your last name, Norm? I mean, yeah. Your last say. name. I'm not even going to respond to that. Just go back to the others. Just... <laughs> uh, so, what do we do? We I mean... Why they're trapped. I feel like it's going to end up with us killing this dude anyway. And we could just cut out the middle part. I'd rather not just, like, kill someone for no reason. <laughs> Especially someone who pays us that well. Yeah, but I mean, he's also keeping slaves, so... I'll be back. I mean, <laughs> oh, he gets I, up and walks out of the tent. We should probably go with... I mean, do we go with him? I feel like we should go with him. Yeah. No one just, like, starts putting stuff and starts getting up I don't. Fall. I don't know if we should. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he said he'd be back. I'm just gonna start packing my pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Which means he's in for the long haul. <laughs> oh, oh no, this could go. Where you go, Sticks? Oh. Let's go to see a liar. She's dancing. Mm-hmm. On her lonesome. Mm-hmm. And he's going to approach. And uh, he's actually going to outstretch his hand. Uh, essentially to see if she would like to dance with him. She just stops and looks at you. <laughs> Still in, like, pose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you want? <clears throat> He's out I am to dance alone. For... I dance alone. <clears throat> He's still waiting. Just <laughs> She just starts going back to practice again. <clears throat> He's going to cross his arms and kind of look a little bit upset. Not hugely, but, you know, visibly. And like any time she spins past him, he kind of makes his frown bigger. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, like clearly moping. She spins very fast, so that's, you know, yeah. that's a workout. Yeah. And uh, he'll turn She actually, to... like, it's, it's like in that moment you're about to leave, she says, don't do it. He, it. he turns and kind of just... Mm. You're going to make me kill you. Don't do it. <clears throat> I don't want to. <clears throat> He's going to kind of lean in. <clears throat> and he is going to speak very softly. Um, and... He's going to use a little bit of this. Um, <laughs> it's a 12 is the DC, which is not huge. Uh, but uh, he's just going to lean in and he's just going to say, you couldn't kill me if you wanted to. Her eyes widen a little bit and you immediately see them look to the master's tent. And she will kind he's of spin around round step, you. He's going to step back, and he's actually going to be stepping back like this just to say, mm. 
I like you. I want nothing to do with hurting you. I want nothing to do with you hurting me. So tell me, what do I need to do to stop anything from going badly here? You give me a persuasion roll with advantage. Mm. Hmm. That is not bad. <laughs> It's too late for me. You can save them. I've been here a long time. I will have to stop you. It won't be my choice. Let me ask you something else. You are bonded? How? I don't know the specifics. All I know is that I came here and I could never leave. You can try and run. You can run and run and run, but you'll never leave. An eternity with you wouldn't be so bad now, would it? <laughs> she actually smiles a little bit, and that smile makes, like, her cheek crack. Hmm. I have no intention of hurting you. I have no if intention of hurting you, but I will. Hmm. Then we're agreed. Would you care to have a bit of a distraction from your practice before we get back to anything else? I'm afraid I'm going to have to leave now. She kind of like hangs her head and actually walks. She very rarely walks um, right over to the... She's to the he's main gonna, tent. He's gonna grab her hand as she's walking past and walk with her to where she's going and then release when she gets there. Just fair, 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 courteously fair. walking with her <sighs> and then leave it alone. Yeah, 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 and, yeah, yeah. Uh, Then go back to our tent. He Welcome looks back. Super dejected when he walks in. What happened to you? <clears throat> It's not too late for the other two. Cloth and mouthwash. Oh. Too late for liar. I'm going to have to kill her. Oh, we don't know that. He looks at you and he has this extremely just solemn, pained look she on She might his. not know that. Well, I guess we better get to this then. He like pulls out one of his short swords, starts looking at it, and starts <laughs> seeing if it's uh, making sure it's sharp. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Let's go, guys. <laughs> no one messes with sticks. <laughs> and with that, why don't we call it quits for this week and come back next week. Um for the next episode of Performance of a Lifetime. Uh, four bards definitely tires <sighs> me out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's also an exciting little flavor experiment to make four such different people uh, all being bards. Yeah. Um, so, we're gonna end as we always do um, with a real quick uh, message from everyone, starting with... Dungeon Dad, who are you? How are you? How'd you come up with this brilliant, very, you know, deep, lots of layers in this character? <laughs> um, yeah, basically this started just because I was like, hey, Ollie, can I make a character named Ollie? And he said, no. I said, how about a character named Cool Ollie? <laughs> he said, sigh. Yeah. <laughs> so I responded, cool. It wasn't a no. No, yeah, yeah well, <laughs> can't say no to that. I think that. this was the first character that, for like the personality traits and stuff, I didn't even look at the book or do any rolling or anything. I was just like, I kept it real simple. I think I tweeted that actually. Its personality traits are just cool, be cool, it did. It bond, was good. chillin'. Okay. Flaws <laughs> might be too chill. 
Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Anyways, yeah. So that's how this character was born. Um, I am a YouTube personality. I make videos about Dungeons and Dragons and put them on YouTube. Although I haven't done that for like a month, but now I'm back on schedule because the move is done finally. So I uh, just uploaded a video the other day about a cool monster called a Humbaba, which is a giant made up of undead corpses. It's great fun. Uh, tell your friends. <laughs> fun <laughs> yeah um <laughs> so yeah if you are interested in cool D, D monsters and you want stat blocks for them and other stuff then you can find me on youtube there you can also follow me on twitter and watch me slowly go insane while i play sekiro i was gonna say most of your tweets have been sekiro <laughs> <laughs> i tweeted the same thing every yeah. day with one letter sekiro in. is a good game yeah and you know why that is, is because I'll just sit down, play for a few hours, hit a wall and get absolutely mucked by one of the bosses. <laughs> and then I just tweet that to remind myself that I'm having fun. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, it's just, it's just this tweet, Sekiro is a good game, has been tweeted every day for the last five days with one more letter in caps every day. Yeah. Uh, or one more <laughs> yeah. um, so I don't know how that's going to end. Probably I never hope, will. I hope it ends full Zalgo. Yeah, <laughs> to be fair though, Sekiro is a good game. <laughs> I enjoy it. Um, anyways, that's me. Moving on to <laughs> someone who recently moved, Aaron, in Hi, the new digs. Yes, I love my new apartment. It's gorgeous. Um, the state is beautiful. I'm sure I'm not going to lick it in a month or two when it's 120 out. <laughs> 120 watts. 120 caps. I will understand. Fahrenheit. Uh, I'm not going to translate to Celsius. It's a big. Well, I, I I don't need to translate. No, that's far <laughs> too hot. <laughs> that's, that's the 40s. That's the 40s. It's bad. No, no man <laughs> can survive it, that. Yep. That's I literally 48 never... degrees. That's right. I get yeah, I no, get no, uncomfortable I, yeah, I in don't, 20. Go outside. I don't go outside as it is when the sun is out. Um, I go swimming like early in the day, like at 5 a.m. before the sun rises, and like at night after it's set. Yeah. So as it is, like I'm already like just Not an indoor down. person. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, similarly to Josiah's story, I made this character when I said I would make a tiefling and couldn't have wings, and Ali was like, sure, you're gonna get lynched by mobs, and I'm like, fuck you, I'm with the tiefling, tiefling to ever exist. Yeah, you could also so fly away from the mob, <laughs> so you're like mostly <laughs> fine. Red skin, horns, tail, wings, Whole shebang. Whole shebangus. Mm -hmm. I had a and joke. I'm looking forward to next week. Don't remember what it was. Oh yes, uh, doctors will tell you that you need the sun to live. That's not true. We're we're doing fine. <laughs> doing fine. It's okay. Yeah. Fuck you. Also, I'm time. pretty sure the sun will kill me here. <laughs> <laughs> Just burn to a crisp. Um, but someone who deals with that sort of heat on a daily basis is Tesh. How are you doing? Hi, I, I, I'm Tash. Uh, I'm actually doing pretty good. It's 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 cold at the moment in the the low twenties, <laughs> uh, so and that chilly. is cold here. <laughs> yeah, that's like a uh, summer day here. Yeah, uh, and uh, you can find me under the test tube on YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. Uh, you should follow me on all the things because I do lots of I, on Twitter. I post lots of cute animal gifts on YouTube. I, do, I uh, do. I recently was invited to do a reaction of the Borderlands 3 mm. uh, release date announcement trailer before it went up. So I was able to release it as it went live. So that was fun. Um, and so I broke that trailer down. That was a lot of fun. And yeah, and I stream Looter Games, Risk of Rain, more War streams Rain, recently. Destiny. Thumbs up. Yes, a lot more streams recently. Finally getting back into it proper. And so oh, and I yeah, wanna... I, 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 sorry, I figured out this character to keep the theme going uh, because uh, I saw, I, I literally just made a bard and I had the default human when I was just making the bard just to sort of fiddle around with stuff. And then I noticed everyone else was going all these things. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to be the human. normal one. Token human. <laughs> yep, token human. <laughs> and our token human of this group is William. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, it's I have less... a day job. 
less uh, sexually yeah. charged than my other <laughs> comment was going to be. Yeah, well, uh, so hi, I'm Will. Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Will and Graham. Uh, you can find me, actually, I'm going to be starting up doing a couple of things in the next week um, going forward. I'm going to hopefully have quite a few more streams going on. One of the things that I'm going to be streaming through, hopefully all the way through, we'll see how my brain does, is Baba is You, which is a puzzle game. It's a good time. Uh, I'm also going to be doing some more writing and some more just chatting, actually. I'm um, kind of getting into into that sphere because, honestly, I just like talking to you beautiful people. So I'm going to have some fun doing that. Uh, the other thing is, uh, hopefully, I'll have a book out in the near future. I am currently sending out query letters uh, to publishing agents, and hopefully one of them will bite, and then I will be able to get my book published, which would be real cool and real weird. And, yeah. Uh, I've got other stuff coming up, but I actually can't talk about it yet. Mm -hmm. That's kind of cool. Um, I've got a thing coming up in May that I will be announcing that I'm doing soon but i can't talk about it yeah, as, an, an, as an illustrator i know the feeling of things that you can't talk about yeah. um but there's me more important than all of you um con con <laughs> uh, conversely to both will and tesh i'm actually doing less streams at the moment um just for health reasons um if my schedule kind of evens back out they'll they'll be back um in some form but there's this show uh, we actually got some real neat things coming up for the, this time slot in a few weeks once this game is done. Um, there's also the Wednesday show at 7 p.m. BST. Um, that is also set in Yavaskir doing completely different unrelated things. And the show is supported by Patreon, which just supports me doing the Yavaskir homebrew, doing illustration, doing being my best self. Um... And for five dollars or more on there, there's actually another show, which is my chill game with friends. And I might be adding another one on there because I'm basically just doing more D and D instead of these uh, casual streams at the moment. Um, but we'll see. I'm kind of everything's up in the air right now. There might be big changes. There might be no changes. Who fucking knows? I'm having a quarter life crisis. Um, and the crisis is I need a fucking beer. So you know what? <laughs> That's gonna be where we ended off today. Um, see you later. And the performance will continue next week.